Hello. I'm Barbara. Welcome to Barbara Sews. Um, I'm beginning to get my area cleaned. It's almost ready now. The dolls are out and all the other is in. As you can see back here, my machine is up. I actually just bought um, online a machine. It was called the Rocketeer, I believe, something about the Space Age. It's called the Slantomatic 500. It was actually the very machine, well, not the very, that model, that was a machine that I grew up learning how to sew on. Uh, when that came out, I was three years old, and my grandmother helped me along, and since, you know, those years ago, my, she's already left us, she's passed on, and she left me her machine, and then I'm thinking I needed all this money for whatever reason. That's another story in itself. I'm so sorry that I um, sold that. But anyway, I found that machine online. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a good, um, well, what's the word I want to use? It's, it's what it says it is, I'm hoping. I hope it proves to be. But um, I'm really excited. I'm supposed to actually get it tomorrow. And when I do, I will come on and I'll show it to you. But anyway, I wanted to show you some more fabric that I got. Um, I can't wait to start sewing. First of all, let me show you the two patterns that I got today. I actually got these at a thrift store. This one is McCall's 5759, but it looks like this. This is, uh, I'm not sure, what is the year? Um, stink. Surprise, there's not a year on it, but I don't see the year. But uh, what is this, maybe the 70s? I'm not good at figuring that out but I love this skirt I believe these are both the same skirt the only thing is this fabric is thicker so it doesn't have the swing like this one does and uh, I thought this little crop like jacket on the waist is really cute so possibly maybe that's something I will do of course I have so many things on my plate I don't know what I'm gonna sew first this one is four two six three uh, this shirt is actually a option that you can actually make and of course it's one of those where you have to have to stretch at least four inches you see from here to here the fabric that you use but um yeah it's really nice here's the she's got her coat open it makes it kind of look different but it's the same jacket here is buttoned up and then uh yeah but i thought that was really nice for winter don't know i just got it because they were a dime Okay, okay. before I get into my fabric, I also, not sewing forever, um, even when I stopped sewing, I realized that my my scissors were going on the blade. I do have a, a sharpener for the blades. I don't know. I still thought I wanted to invest and get another pair. Uh, it's not a high investment. I got these. These are put out by Friskers, and of course, there's a full life guarantee on them, and these are limited time. I got these at Walmart, but... Uh, I loved this tie-dye look. Isn't that pretty? So I got those 8-inch scissors. And then another thing I got, I got the multi-purpose uh, from Westcott. This is the only brand that they have. I don't know why Friskers or Singers does not have their pinking shears at Walmart. Perhaps at Joann's. I could have waited, perhaps. But I was there today. Um, but these were $15 for these. These other ones were nine something, so 10. So for two pair, 20, 25. Um, and I know I'm gonna need both, use both. I don't have a serger. That's something I've talked about in the past. I would really love to, but that's gonna cost as much, if not more, than the machine would. But uh, I'll be looking and perhaps one day I'll be able to get some room and area and be able to have one. But until then, I'm gonna either have to zigzag or I'm gonna have to use pinky chairs. So be it. All right. Here's the fabric that I got. This here I got at the thrift store. Uh, I believe this was $1.50 for all of this. And I'm not going to even begin to. I had them all measured out how many there was of each yard wise. But I don't remember. But it, it's over two yards, three yards. But do you see how that has the iridescent? How it turns like it's like a teal. And then it goes to a brown. And then it all, all almost makes it kind of look even plumish, purplish. But uh. It's beautiful, like a taffeta type stuff. Love it. And so I got that one. And oh, look at this. And this lining was a dollar. And there's 
uh, same amount. See how that looks? It's like a plum looking color. But um, I thought it would actually be okay up underneath this as a lining. And this really doesn't need a lining per se because it's thick enough. But I'm just liking the idea of a lining because I'm thinking that's just going to add some fluff to the skirt. And when the skirt happens to just get flipped up, you'll be able to see this pretty lining. So I just thought that really looked nice together. So that's a possibility. So under $5, I got all of this. There is so much that you can find at the thrift store if you go to the right one. And if you look, if you look, um, I got this one at the thrift store. Uh, there again, all of these fabrics, only one of them cost, I think, $6, and I'll show you that. But all these others were $2.50, $1.50, and I don't remember all of them, but I thought this was really cool. I love the raised lines on here. Um, this is a more of a heavy fabric. It's not a it's not canvas or anything like that for outdoor furniture or anything. It's just a really nice fabric. It's um, This side I thought was interesting. This is the back side of it. And I thought that was pretty. There's the back and then here's the front. But uh, I was actually wondering if there was a way to contrast using the back and the front together. Not sure. I really love this hump. I'm, I've always been that way. I love texture. Even though it's plain like this, the texture adds up, makes up for the print. So I, I have all of this. This was a cotton uh, fabric that I think is really pretty. I think this was only a dollar. But uh, it's more like a border print, as you can see. Uh, it's really lovely. Got the butterflies and the flowers. And it actually has a look like it's been cross stitched or you know embroidered but it's just in the fabric and it's really pretty my thought was to have a um a long sleeve blouse and have this at the border of the blouse at the bottom and even possibly on the cuffs and the collar so um we'll see how that works but um it's more it reminds me more of a springy type you know but I'm thinking if you had a solid, let's say you had a solid, uh, like a jacket and, and a skirt, like a suit, and um, then a pr uh, pretty blouse like this to pop out, like if it was a gray suit or black or something. I'm thinking more gray. That would be really pretty, I'm thinking. But, um, yeah, I got a lot of thoughts in my head. <laughs> Here's the one that I got at the thrift store that was $6. We, I've already measured. There's eight yards here. It's incredible. It is another African print. I actually have... I don't know where it is. I'm not going to search because I have this folded. This is a huge amount. It was almost impossible to fold up. but uh, And it's all uh, wrinkled now because uh, I did wash it. And um, now I'll just have to iron a portion of it because I'm not going to need eight yards. But here's fabric. I could make that cafetan I've been talking about because there's plenty of it. But I love green. This is such a beautiful color. And so I have all of this, which was a great find. Okay, the next that I'm going to show you are fabrics that I actually bought at jo Joann's when they had their fleece just here last week for $2.99. Uh, not their fleece, their flannels. But this is the one that I got. It's more, I think, like a Halloween print, but I don't care. I can wear it for winter nonetheless. But I just love how it's, it's ghostly looking. Do you see that? It's got the bats. And these moons actually glow in the dark, which I thought was really cool. And I'm not sure if this these lighter areas glow in the dark as well. Um, you out there who've, who've had this print, you can maybe let me know that. Well, upside down. But uh, I have three yards of this. I thought it was so cool. And my idea for this was to make me a button-up long sleeve flannel shirt. And uh, so for this, it was $9, which I think is a really good deal. Here's another one I got for $2.99 a yard. And this one here, uh, it does not say here. It looks like it might be one of those that might glow in the dark, but perhaps not. Because you know what? When you have glow in the dark items, do you see the difference in the whites? This has a tone on it, like a yellowish. And this one's pure white. So perhaps this one's not glow in the dark. But uh, it's the atmosphere, moons, stars. Here again, this is three yards, but I thought, there again, I thought, what a fun shirt 
to wear button up flannel. Uh, I do like space and stars and the sky and all that kind of stuff. So I liked this. And there again, it was $9, which is a really good sale. And these are the more expensive ones, but good night. They had been like 15 a yard and I got them for $7.99 a yard. But look at all of these little guys. They are penguins. And this I got for a, um, a real snuggly uh, sweater-like long sleeve, maybe with a little short neck up here, a cow neck, not a huge one, but just a little small one. Uh, and how warm that would be. And there's three yards here. And um, this is wider, so this will really go far, uh, farther. I'll be able to put more on it, being it's so wide. I think it's like 55, 60 inches, 58 inches maybe is what they said. But uh, I thought it was so cute. Look at this penguin. He's got a fish. That's so cute. <laughs> so I got that one. And then I, another one that I got was just to be snuggly is this one. And this was called um, Cotton Candy. Let me see. Is it written on here? It was called, it was something like that though. But uh, it reminds me of ice cream. But I absolutely love it. And it, aren't, isn't it beautiful? And this is also for another snuggly top uh, for winter months. And um, yeah, and there's three yards here. So $32. Yeah, I spent quite a bit on this. These here, the fabric I'm showing you, this is not all the same day, all the same buy. These were at two, two or three different days apart that I found this stuff. And as far as that goes, that is all that I bought. All that I bought. Like, that's not enough, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope all of you are having a great day uh, in Kansas here. It starts out really nice. I mean, it's funny how the end, middle to the end of August, it begins to cool down. But then you have that humidity pop back in. So that's what we're doing today, having that humidity pop back in. But uh, I thank all of you for coming by and joining me and put a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you, you know... I know you haven't watched many of my videos now that I've come back, but if you think maybe you'd like to watch some more, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and push the bell and you won't miss any that I put up. Um, I can't wait to get back to you showing you that, hey, I just cut this out. Hey, look what I just sewed on so you can see what my progress and what I'm doing. But uh, I'll let you all go. Thank you so much for stopping by. God bless you, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.